This weekend, Sip and Stay visits Dundee Hills. It is crush, and the vibrant fall colors are everywhere. I will be staying at La Bastide Bed and Breakfast, a beautiful new property right in the heart of wine country. As soon as I arrived, I was greeted by the owner and given a tour. I love the colors of the welcoming bright interior. Natural light fills the rooms and my view overlooks the neighboring vineyard and winery. Eight foot doors lead into uniquely decorated rooms with names from various wine regions from France. It seems as if every detail was perfectly thought out to ensure my stay would be relaxing and that I would require nothing at all. There is a refrigerator filled with complimentary juices and sparkling water. Coffee is available 24 hours a day and I found myself going back more than once for the chocolates. There is even a drawer with picnic supplies. Common areas include a sitting room with a piano and also a workout room. I will definitely be using that. Guests of the inn also receive a free wine tasting at Highland Estates Winery located next door to the bed and breakfast. After a day of wine tasting, I could think of nothing better than returning to my cozy room, big fluffy bed and fireplace. Each morning I woke up to the scrumptious smells coming from the kitchen. One morning there was a coconut broiled grapefruit with coconut cream. Next came a fig and brie stuffed French toast with rosemary spiced walnuts. The next morning started with cinnamon roasted pears with yogurt and house granola, followed by an egg and cheese custard with mushrooms, bacon, toast and a side salad. My final breakfast began with a citrus plate, whipped chevrolet and walnuts. Then came a French omelet with bay shrimp, snow peas, and house toast. This is the perfect way to fill up before a day of wine tasting. And what is really special is that Mark, the owner, is now offering wine tours and dinner transportation for his guests. So of course, when I found out that I could have a designated driver for the day, I was more than excited to explore the Dundee Hills. Right, so we wanted it to be able to um, be easy for our guests to experience wine country, not just being able to taste wine in the tasting rooms, uh, but also to be able to go out to dinner and, and just not worry about it. Mark even picked up lunch for us, delicious sandwiches from the Red Hills Market. Yeah, so, um, you know, just based upon your background and your interests, um, you guys have some experience um, with, with wine, and I thought what we could do is start with a picnic um, over at Stoller. We built La Bastide in 2014. Um, we built it to be a bed and breakfast. You know, all the rooms are private. Um, they all have their own bathroom. It was built to have its own bathroom. It's not a uh, remodeled closet. The other distinguishing feature is the, uh, the dining space. People can just go in and grab their own table um, and it's private. But, you know, if they do want to interact with other guests, they have that option too. But um, it's just a more intimate, comfortable experience for everyone. Yeah, we wanted to have a house that had sort of a classic colonial feel to it. So the house essentially has um, 10 foot high ceilings um, everywhere, both floors, uh, crown molding throughout, um, high doors, eight foot doors. We focus on um, the breakfast experience. We put a lot of thought into them. It's a two course meal typically. Now, and that's typical, they'll change day to day. If a guest stays for you know a week, um, nothing will be recreated. It'll be uh, a, a new meal every day. The wine tour was also educational, learning about the region and the history of Pinot Noir. Uh, they're called the Red Hills because of the red color of the soil, which is due to iron content. If the wines tend to be um, a little bit lighter, a little bit fruitier. They don't have uh, the same tannin levels that uh, wines in the um, other AVAs have, so they're definitely uh, wines that have a distinct character to them. Yeah, so Dundee started as a um, an old uh, railroad stop, and then it evolved quickly into being uh, a town of hazelnuts. And when um, people started developing a taste for Pinot Noir and really appreciating the fact that you can make great Pinot Noirs really only in some of the cooler climates of Oregon. So that's when Dundee started to take off, but it really has now, just now started to come into its own character. That's it, it's the end of our wine tour. Mark, you are fantastic. You're so full of knowledge and thank you for taking us around. I didn't know there's so many wineries. That was a fabulous and delicious day exploring the wineries of Dundee Hills. And the best part is I get to return to the La Bastide Bed and Breakfast.